What's up, my diecast homies? Get some uh, light on the subject here. No. Turn it. Well, we can do a little better than that. Hey! What's up? Are you guys, uh, you guys have any good luck? I hope you are. Um, I think the best suggestion I can make as far as, you know, being a collector of Hot Wheels, as long as I have, would be to check mornings, weekends. Uh, that's really the only time that I have to do any hunting anymore, which is very little compared to what I used to do, but I do come across stuff. So I would suggest, uh, Friday mornings, possibly. I don't know. Everyone's area is different, but I would just think that most stores are basically on the same, uh, schedule. So, like I said, Friday mornings, maybe nights, and definitely weekend mornings. Like, soon as stores open, I would check. If you can, you know, if it's possible. Um, and you got to check every, 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 every weekend, you know, as far as like Saturday and Sunday. You know, if you really want to get after it, you can go during the week. So, um, but for me, it's just weekends. So, lately it's been, the same thing has been happening every weekend where it starts out really slow, and then all of a sudden, boom, it's something happens, it's typically on a Sunday. So, and it happened again this weekend. Uh, started out real slow, didn't figure I was going to find anything, and uh, all of a sudden, boom, uh, I, uh, I scored... Again, like I did a few weeks ago when I found that stash spot. You guys remember the video I showed where I found the uh, the liquid chase was stashed? The forerunners were stashed? Uh, found some more stash stuff. So that's fun, and I'm going to share that with you guys. You know when you go out and you find this stuff, and you get excited about finding something? I, well, it just so happens that I haven't found or ran across any local guys around here that aren't resellers you know so when I find this stuff I get excited to get on here and show you guys this stuff so that's what I'm doing today I guess better sooner than later because I really didn't plan on making a video this soon maybe next week whatever depending on what I find but I got excited about what I found today and I wanted to share that with you guys also, I finished up some customs. Like I said, I was going to get cracking on some customs. Got the gloves on. Been working on some right now. So I'll share those with you guys first. And then I'll go over what I found this weekend. I just showed this one last night. Can't really show it. These the glow-in-the-dark effects right now. But yeah, this, is, uh, this thing glows in the dark pretty bright. Put the uh, monoblock wheels on there. This started out as that uh, Liberty Walk GTR. Which it kind of still is. I still kept up with the Liberty Walk on there. Made some exhaust pipes for it. Just a fun little custom. Also showed this piece. This was a uh, experimental paint job, and it didn't get the effect that I wanted, but it wasn't terrible. So I went ahead and wrapped this custom up anyway. I always love this model. Sort of like a uh, a purple metal flake, purple pearl. 
I don't know the brand of these wheels. Um, I found these on eBay. I found a few sets. I showed it back in my wheel video. Put a little exhaust on there. A purple tow hook on the back. Just a few decals. Oh yeah, I put a roll cage in there. It's a fun model. I like this model. Yeah, I don't know the name of those wheels. I don't think there was a uh, brand name for those on the packaging. I'm not really a huge fan of them. They're not terrible, but I like other brands. So I'll stick to those. And then something I didn't show you guys. You guys remember a while back, I always wanted to recreate my own version of the infamous Super Trunk. This uh, Bluebird Wagon. So I made my own custom version a while back. Which you guys have seen already. However, the one that you haven't seen is the other one that I've really wanted. Actually, more than the Super. The Super, that's too far off. But I would love to have the Legends Tour. So, like I said in my previous video, I wanted to make my own version of one. So I finished that up, and I'll show you guys what I did. So it was green. The Legends Tour car is green, but I wanted to, I basically wanted to create my own version by just making everything pop just a little bit more. So it's sort of like a emerald green on there. And then I decided to carbon fiber the hood. few details in the front. I put monoblock wheels on there that were gold, but then I sort of painted them with like a shadow chrome black and then brought the gold lip back. Sort of made it like a little exhaust tip for it. If we're going to focus, yeah, I got painted some taillights on there too. No, I think we've been through this before. I think it's the gloves. Sorry about that. Let's try it again. Yep, it is. Yep, painted the taillights, did the exhaust. And then the base on this Legends car is black. So I thought, well, let's, let's kick that up a notch and let's make it shadow chrome. So that's what I did. So basically I just took all the parts of the car and just sort of like kicked it up a notch a little bit, you know? Have fun with it. Make my own custom version. So that's it for the customs that I got finished this week. Um, couple, got a couple others, but I'll wait to show you guys those. Uh, as far as pickups, I stopped at Hobby Lobby. I was running out of those uh, acrylic cases, the protective cases. So I picked up a few more. Um, I've been I've been giving out uh, some of my customs lately, and I've run out. So I try to give you guys a case with every custom that I've given away. So, which by the way, when the time comes, I will give away some more. But I'd rather do it. The giveaway style with the jar that I was talking about in previous videos. Which, by the way, those names that are in there, you guys don't know who's getting put in there. And it's not just comments on my videos. I watch all sorts of videos on YouTube. And when I see you guys saying nice things and nice comments, even on other people's videos, aside from mine, those are names that I get that I'll put in that jar too. So, like I said, at some point I'll do a giveaway, give away a custom something like that um, I'll let you guys know which video I decide to do that on but you never know I'm always watching and it's that kindness that that spreads and that's that's whose names get put in that jar I grabbed two cases of these and then as far as non hot wheel stuff to you customizers out there, and I still got to make that video about customs, but I just wanted to share this because sometimes these are tricky to find. 
if you guys are customizing and you're cutting out decals, this little craft knife here, Exacto, whatever, I know it's cheapy, it's nothing really special, but this knife combined with the, uh, all these blades are numbered, but this knife uh, with the number 12 blade right here, if you can find these at the Dollar Tree for a buck, trust me, that is the best knife I've ever used for cutting out decals. Uh, the slim, I think it's the how slim it is. You can get real precision with your cuts and turns. These are fantastic. Just trust me. If you're at Dollar Tree and you're lucky enough to find some of these, sometimes they're tricky to find. I actually just found stock uh, yesterday and grabbed a few sets. Um, if I send a package to a uh, customizer, I'll throw one of these in there and then you can see what I'm talking about. But yeah, trust me, these are fantastic combined with that number 12. Some of the others might be okay, but this number 12 for cutting out decals is just far superior over even the best X-Acto knife that I have. Let's see, what else? Dollar Tree. I went to uh, Dollar Tree. There was a, uh, another collector there uh, checking out stuff. And I was talking to him for a bit, and he was just, he's, he's, he was looking for his supers, you know. And uh, he didn't find any, so he, he headed out. And I took a little bit deeper look. And I'm okay if I don't find a super. However, if I find a good treasure hunt, that's not a fantasy model I would like to have. Well, boom. Totally left this behind. Matter of fact, there were two of them in there. So I think they were fresh stock. And I have to say... For 2022, this is probably, this little Subaru here was probably one of the more popular ones. So I was definitely, definitely not going to leave this guy behind. As far as treasure hunts go, I really love this one. That's a great looking model. And then I've never found one of these before. Um, but I think this is a treasure hunt. Yep. Got that one. Kind of like to do a custom on that. Never thought about doing a custom on a fantasy model. It's kind of fun. And then something totally strange that I didn't think I would find at a Dollar Tree, and you guys can help me out with this because you guys know better than I. Um, I think these are Best Buy exclusives. I'm almost certain this is a Best Buy exclusive. So, that being said, I just thought that was kind of odd and went ahead and picked this up. So, if you guys are looking for Best Buy exclusives, don't forget to check your Dollar Trees. Unless this isn't. I believe it is, and I'll show you the other one I found. I'm certain I've never seen this at a Walmart or a Target in this uh, color. Porsche 935. Really great looking body style. And the orange is pretty cool. So I grabbed that along with the van and the Subi treasure hunt. And then I walked over Target to see if they had anything. Um, my local Target that I usually hit up didn't have anything. So I decided to go ahead and venture over to another one to see if maybe they had anything. And I'll put a pickup of what I spotted because I've never spotted them before. I found like these silver anniversary editions. I saw those and then you'll notice in the picture there's something sitting to the side which I wasn't going to grab, but this other model I was going to grab. So I figured, well, I'm not going to just walk out with one car. I'll go ahead and grab something else. And that was this uh, cool little Nissan hard body. That just seemed like a pretty cool pickup for a Matchbox. Pick up, pick up. But like I said, I didn't want to just walk out with this. So my instincts told me 
hey, I don't see this. Maybe I should grab it. And I know there's that whole Forerunner craze with Hot Wheels, but at the time, I wasn't even thinking about it. So I grabbed this Forerunner, which I still haven't compared to the Hot Wheels yet, but I think it's really close. It's either the exact same, because I can't imagine they would make a whole different casting, but maybe they did. I don't know. I'll check them. But yeah, I picked up this Forerunner. And then yesterday, um, I was watching a video last night. Uh, David, uh, Diecast Life and Death, Jason at um, Hot Wheels and Diecast Collector, was kind of sending him a package, and he had given him one of these. And I saw in the video, hey, I just found one of those today. That's super cool. And uh, David mentioned that the uh, check the, uh, the 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 eBay prices on these. See, see the craziness, and I did, and wow, good lord, with the forerunners, I had no idea. The you know, I I well, I did with the with the Hot Wheels after a while when I and when I when I found a few of those stashed a few weeks ago, but I didn't know the Matchbox too. But like I said, my instincts told me to pick it up because I just don't remember seeing them often. And uh, it is a good looking model, but for the prices that I'm seeing on eBay, wow, a little outrageous. Okay, so that's how, that's how the week started. Went over to check out the Walmart, which usually never has anything on the pegs. You guys remember a few weeks ago I scored those Forerunners that were stashed? That Liquid Chase uh, NASCAR that was stashed? Well, the pegs were full of Hot Wheels. They did have a bunch of M2s. Um, there were some Aero Sculpts left of the boulevards. Um, I actually got lucky, and I showed you guys last week the few boulevards that I did find, the Subaru and the Nova. Um, and you know what's funny is I know, I remember the stuff was stashed at this store once before. But previously... When I went to check, I didn't even think to look. So I don't know if this stuff was there the whole time or I just forgot to look because I wasn't even going to uh, look today and because there wasn't anything there to grab. You know, everything had already been picked through. Um, but, you know, on the shelves, uh, it was on the very, very top shelf where you, you really can't reach. You sort of got to do that little jump and grab move. You know, on the bottom of the shelf, you can see through the holes a little bit. And I could see through the holes a little bit. And it sort of looked like maybe it was one of those diorama sets. And I'm not interested in those. Um, all the previous ones, I'll put up some pictures that I've seen at this store. They're cool, but not. it's not a grab for me. The BMW set, that one was close. That one was close. I actually had that in my hand. I thought about it. And I heard it was really popular. But... It wasn't really a, a set for me to say. So there is a set, though, that I have seen that has a few good models in it that I really, really loved and wanted to have. And I was just thinking about it last night that I would really like to be able to have that set. Um, and... I reached up there. Actually, I didn't just reach. I did a jump and reach and grabbed. And here's what I found. Look at that beauty. I love... That little Nissan Sentra SER in there. And I have really, really been wanting a uh, EG Civic. I never got the Honda set. I never found that Hello Kitty one, which I really wanted. The Boulevard. Um, I don't know, Modern Classics maybe. I can't remember. There were so many other sets where you can get a really cool looking little EG Civic. And I've never, ever been able to find one. 
The Celica looks awesome in here. I love that hauler. That hauler, I believe, is the same one that came with the uh, the Liberty Walk Skyline in the back with the tires. I think it'd be fun to do a custom and actually put some real riders up there. Yeah, I would love to do a, uh, a custom Civic. Yeah, so I was super, super excited to share this with you guys and that I found this set. So, persistence. Don't, don't give up. Always check, and always check high and low. You never know. And uh, you never know what you find. By the way, this wasn't the only thing. Yep, there were two of them deep on that top shelf. So, I definitely had to grab another set. Because like I said, I really wanted to do a custom of that Civic. And I love that Sentra. And this could be a really cool custom. I think the only other set that I've ever seen in those dioramas that I would really love to have um, that Nissan set was pretty cool. I really like that. Um, I'll post a picture up if I find it. But there was that, um, what was it? Uh, I'll put up a picture. But it was, a, oh, it was the one with the uh, Bluebird Wagon. I believe it might have been another Nissan set. Um, sort of like JDM Classics. I really love that set. Um, hell, I'd trade one of those sets for one if I could get one. But yeah, um, not too many of those dioramas really uh, excited me. But like I said, last night I happened to notice something in someone's video, one of those, and I thought, wow, I'd really love to have one of those to customize and to have one to collect. And sure enough, Stash Spot scored again. So I was definitely excited to uh, pick that up and share that with you guys today. So like I said, don't give up, guys. There's stuff out there. You know, it's, 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 it's timing a lot of times. Cause like I said, I don't hunt like I used to anymore. Um, you know, and that being said too, you know, about the stash and stuff, you know, almost a decade ago when I used to collect, I used to get all worked up about, you know, trying to find stuff and that, you know, you got people that aren't collectors taking stuff and whatnot. You know, now that I've gotten back into collecting again, I just blow it right off. It doesn't really even upset me anymore. You know, I just accept that it is what it is out there, and it just makes it a challenge. I know it can be tough, but, you know, you could always have, make friends in the community with, you know, others that, you know, could trade with you. Um, that's the best suggestion I can make, that and, you know, check mornings. So... Hopefully you guys will uh, be able to uh, find some good stuff by uh, checking at the right times. Okay, uh, yeah, that was it. I was just excited to share that with you guys that I found that set. I was stoked to find that set. And uh, yeah, like I said, Stash Bot, again, scored. So, alright guys, I uh, appreciate you guys watching. And uh, catch you on the next one. Take it easy.